Guys, I just got back from a thrift store where I picked up this yard machine. 22 inch cut, 500 series, Briggs and Stratton, push mower. I uh, was not able to look at it too much inside the store. People were hovering around this like buzzards, so uh, I just kind of made sure that the engine turned on it and took a peek at the oil and just grabbed it and uh, took it out. Uh, it does look like it's been left outside. And there's dirt pretty much everywhere on it. I'm going to take a closer look at it and try to do a, a cold start on it today. Um, I'm pretty stoked about it because these are good lawnmowers. And I'm thinking it's going to start right up. But uh, I may be wrong. Um, it is early fall here. And it's a possibility that somebody could have used this for the season and then decided to uh, donate it. I have no idea really, it's just kind of a guess. So uh, let's get it out of here and um, take a closer look at it, guys. So here's another look at the lawnmower. There's the price. I don't know if you'll be, be able to see that. $30.30 is what it uh, cost. Let's take a look at the carburetor here. I'm going to spray that linkage with some uh, carb cleaner. Let's uh, take a look at the oil. Now I did look at the oil in the store and it looked clean. Um, I'm not sure about the level though. This is an MTD. Uh, the maker of yard machine. That's the uh, serial number there. Notice that it still even has the barcode sticker on it here. So uh, you can see the oil is clean. up to proper level there. Let's check the gas. Uh, they're not supposed to have any gas in them, but uh, you never know. Now let's see what it looks like, if there is any. Well, there's just a little bit of gas in there, I don't think. I mean, it's definitely not enough to start it, but it's, uh, it's, hasn't evaporated and it, uh, well, that looks clean, guys. There's no rust in there. So, uh, let me grab my gas can and put some gas in this. I'm going to spray the linkage here with carb cleaner and, uh, hope that spark plug is good. And we'll try it out and see if it uh, starts up. Guys, I just wanted to also show you underneath it. Got the rusty blade going on here. Um, I did feel of it. And it is pretty sharp. So, uh, yeah, let's grab the gas can and, and try to start this baby up.
Yeah, I put the uh, filter back on, and the filter is really filthy, but I decided to go ahead and just leave it like that, um, and just see if it's going to start first. So let's get some gas. That should be enough. Make sure this plug is the wires on. That seems to be good. Okay, I'm going to prime it here. Three times. That's not cracked, so that's good. The rubber's good on that. All right, let's try it out. Cold start, first time out of here, for me anyway. Well, there it goes, guys. Worked uh, like I'd hoped. Uh, really, really glad that it does. It's kind of uh, thinking it was going to be a, uh, a bum mower there for for a minute there, but uh, started back up the second time. Seems to run fine. Uh, stoked. Every now and then you'll find something like this in a thrift store for no good reason. It uh, it, it will work just fine. Uh, and that seems to be the case here. Thanks guys for watching. Uh, until next time, have a great day. Take care.